Hello there, and welcome back to the Schools of Excellence podcast. Listen, we have just had an incredible experience over the last couple of weeks sharing with you the five power plays to attract, engage, and retain families. And so if you are tired of generic solutions that do not move the needle, and you are looking for something really tangible that can actually consistently attract, engage, and retain your families. Because here's the thing, you need to remember as a school leader, you're not just managing a building, okay? You're orchestrating a very complex ecosystem of diverse families, each one with their own needs, their own expectations, their own communication styles, and all these traditional one-size-fits-all approach leave you with marketing messages that fall flat, they leave you with event turnouts that are disappointing at best, and they leave you with a nagging feeling that you're missing the mark on a significant portion of your community. You're struggling not just to enroll, but to engage and retain those families. And what I always say with the kicker with these things is that the old playbook is just simply doesn't account for the nuanced reality of today's families. That's why I recorded that whole five-part series on the five power plays. And this is why I created the PAX framework. The PAX framework is a game-changing framework exclusively available through the New School Playbook Workshop. So the PAX framework stands is a acronym for understanding how to bring this all together and create your parent retention system. Again, this is not just an acronym. It's a fundamental shift in how we understand and engage in school communities. So let me break down the PAX framework for you. P is for parent data. This is where we go beyond basic demographics, and it's about uncovering the hidden motivations, the fears and aspirations that drive parent decisions. And on the workshop, the New School Playbook, which is taking place on November 14th at 1230 Eastern, I'm going to be walking you through this part, parent data, how to go beyond basic demographics. The letter A in our PAX framework is architect your avatars. This is where you're going to forget about broad categories, and we're going to be creating three to five distinct data-driven parent personas that bring your parent community to life. Okay, so again, I'm uncovering here the PAX framework. P is for parent data. A is for architecture avatars. C is craft tailored touch points. This is where your your communication is going to become so targeted that parents are going to wonder if you're reading their minds. This is something that Schools of Excellence has gotten phenomenal at. Whenever we bring out messages or different things like that, I always get DMs. Are you in my school? Do you have video cameras? How do you know this is what I'm going through? This is exactly what I've been talking about. Crafting tailored touch points is really understanding how to be so targeted and really speak to your parent demographic. We're continuing down the PAX framework. P is parent data. A is architecture avatars. C is craft tailored touch points. T is train the troops. This is This is not just about administration level. This is about equipping every staff member from assistant teacher to teacher to mentor teacher to curriculum coordinator to enrollment specialist to assistant director to director to regional manager to you. Everyone needs to become a master communicator at connecting with the different parent avatars. That's what it means to train your troops. And lastly, the S is sync your calendar rhythms. This is where we're going to align your school's pulse with your community's heartbeat. I'm going to say that again. We are going to align your school's pulse with your community's heartbeat. That is the PAX framework. And that's what I'm going to be teaching on this upcoming workshop. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds great. How does this play out in real life? Okay, so I'll give you a couple of examples here. If you remember from one of the episodes, I unpacked one of the parent avatars. So you might have a parent avatar. Let's say we'll call her Tina. Um, You have another avatar. Let's say we'll call him the community Carlos, like the person who always wants community. The thing that you have to understand is, let's say someone like Tina who wants streamlined digital communication or someone like Carlos who values face-to-face interaction and community service opportunities. When you follow the PACS framework, you're not choosing between them. It's not Carlos is more important than Tina or Tina is more important than Carlos. No, you're crafting strategies that speak to individuals, right? That speak to both of them. So you're sending personalized emails to the parent demographic like Tina and you're inviting families like Carlos to neighborhood cleanup events or, you know, different things that are sponsored by your school. Because guess what? Tina doesn't want to go to a community cleanup sponsored event, but Carlos does. And not only does he want to, that is how he feels connected. And that's how you're going to retain him versus someone like Tina. If you don't give her other opportunities to engage, you can be like, what the hell is this school doing? Why are they doing cleanup events all the time? I don't want to clean up. I clean my own house. I've got my own five kids. And I know that you're laughing, listening to this because you all know that Tina. 
And that's the thing you have to understand. You have multiple different parent demographics, and we need to make sure that we're connecting to all of them. Now, the thing about the power of the PAX framework, this is not about doing more. Like I said in a different podcast episode, it's about working smarter, not harder. Working smarter is about understanding the activity that actually needs to sit in your calendar to drive the results that you're going for. So in the New School Playbook Workshop, we're going to dive deep into data collection techniques that understand what your parents actually want. Remember, power play number one is um, know your families, right? You're going to master the art of creating vivid, actionable parent avatars. You're going to learn how to craft messages that resonate on a personal, deep level with each and every avatar. You're going to develop a school-wide communication strategy that turns every interaction into an opportunity for connection. And you're going to learn how to take your school calendar and turn that into a powerful engagement tool. Again, you're going to take your school calendar and turn that into a powerful engagement tool. Okay. Again, PAX is not a theory. This is an actual framework that you can follow. And the thing that what I want you to understand about what sets this workshop apart is the customization. I'm not just handing you a playbook. I am going to work with whoever's on live, write a tailored, customized approach for your unique community. Okay. So whether you're going to be live or you're watching the replay, you're going to want to register for this workshop. Stop guessing and start knowing how to connect with your families and your schools. You could go to schoolsofexcellence.com slash families and secure your spot for this personalized attention. Again, schoolsofexcellence.com slash families. Trust me, this is an investment in your school's future that you do not want to miss. In today's educational landscape, understanding your community is not just a nice to have. This is essential. I want to help you rewrite your school story one parent avatar at a time. Let's do this. This is Connie here reminding you that the future belongs to schools that truly know their communities. Again, the future belongs to the school leaders and the schools that truly know their communities. I'll see you at the workshop, schoolsofexcellence.com slash families.